National Unit Platform's Matthias Impuga sends a annoying message to His Excellency Welka Gotham 7 after saying he is ready to hold talks with Bobby Wine. Hello, welcome, and thanks for taking your time joining us live on Projan Media TV. Matthias Impuga, the Deputy President of the National Unit Platform Party in charge of the Central Region, has said they cannot have a dialogue with the master of criminality and brutality like President Joel Kagutam Seven. During an interview with the France 24's Mark Perel Maale this week, Seven said he was open for dialogue with opposition members, including His Excellency Robert Chagulani. He said they have always dialogued with those groups, including His Excellency Robert Chagulani, if he wants, and they have invited them to what they call the iPod. Others have come, but he did not see His Excellency Robert Chagulani, but all others came as His Excellency Well Kagutam Seven said. However, during the press conference held at National Unit Platform's headquarters in Kamocha on Thursday, Mpuga, who also doubles as the leader of the opposition in the parliament, says their party is not ready to sit on a round table with His Excellency Well Kagutam Seven a leader who does not respect human rights and uses security forces to commit atrocities against his opponents. Mpuga's remarks come hot on the heels of National Unit Platform's ref refusal to join the Inter-Party Organization for Dialogue that is iPod. In a letter dated 2nd September, National Unit Platform Secretary General David Louis Rubongoya told the iPod Executive Secretary Frank Crusa that the opposition party was not willing to join the dialogue. It was a platform that has largely been used to legitimize a brutal regime that has no regard or respect for democracy. The regime uses iPod for political gain, far from its intended objective of strengthening Uganda's multi-party democracy. You will agree that in the past 10 years of iPod's existence in Uganda, the dem democratic space has shrunk, going from bad to worse every successive year, as Rubongoya said. Rubongoya also said that serious discussions about Uganda's future have been denied audience within the platform, and hence National Unit Platform is not keen on being part of an exercise that is being used as a facet to legitimize an otherwise legitimate rule. They have taken time to study the discussion that has taken place in iPod over time. In their assessment, the regime has turned it into a forum in which party principals meet for a cup of tea followed by a photo opportunity. iPod brings together political parties with representation in parliament with an aim of addressing challenges affecting Uganda. So according to uh, General Secretary of National Unit Platform, David Louis Rubongoya, that this iPod is not actually doing its real work. Instead, it's taking opportunity of Ugandans by going ahead, just sit on the table, round table, to take a cup of tea, taking snaps, ignoring the real ideas of the iPod. Uh, well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching Projan Media TV, and we'll keep on updating with more of this. Kindly do one thing subscribe and turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching Projan Media TV.